What's up everybody? Welcome back to CJ's Customs back again with another video. Today guys, we're going to be building a box for F-150, 2012 I want to say. King Ranch, we're going to do beauty panels, we're going to do all this, the guy went all out on it. Uh, full uh, plexiglass top, everything. When I say full plexiglass, I mean full plexiglass. But, unfortunately, I'm doing this part all over again because I lost footage of the very beginning so when you see it now the box is put together it's not sealed or anything like that it's just put together because i gotta put it all together and then take it all back apart just to make sure everything fit the way it's supposed to fit and before i show you all the plastic glass and everything it's gonna be whole i'm not gonna show it once it's done well i will show it but i'm saying i'm not gonna show it as i'm cutting it because man it's critical uh, one piece of plexiglass is was $315. It's one inch thick, five foot by two foot wide. So it's a big piece of plexiglass, big as I ever dealt with. So we're gonna cut it with the table saw. We're gonna sand the edges down. All right, so I'm about to show you how the inside is box, and then I'm gonna explain to you what's gonna be done and all this good stuff. All right, guys. This is box is built out of three quarter inch birch plywood. The beauty panels right here is one of them. It's out of half inch. I've been trying to figure out how I'm gonna do the front beauty panel because I don't want to put the sub too high, and then it's gonna hit the top of the plastic glass here. And I can't put it too low because he got some. He wants to put King Ranch across the bottom of the box. So trying to figure this out make it decorative as possible it's gonna be wrapped in i'm either gonna do the outside do this part here the whole outside of the box in wood grain and then come with and wrap this in vinyl <coughs> excuse me or wrap the whole box in vinyl and then wrap this wood grain for the accent and then this beauty panel here which you see right there that half inch mdf will also be wrapped in wood grain vinyl so I'm just gonna have to show y'all the uh, vinyl he got for the bottom he wants to put there. And then um, probably if I have enough left, I'll probably do the inside here in the wood grain. I still gotta add the lights <coughs> around for it. Excuse me, y'all. I'm putting braces in between each one. That would help the plastic glass also. And also it stiffens up the whole box completely. So. That's what we're gonna be doing. He putting four tens right here. He got a inch and a half, two inch lift on it. Here is one, it's a JL audio. He's gonna have, so that's where we at right now. And I'm gonna cut y'all back on. All right, guys. Now you see, I got it laid out where my holes are gonna be at. That line is wrong. This line is what I need to make 10 and a half because that's exactly the size of that sub. So what I'm about to do, I'm about to take the nail gun, fasten this here and one spot here and one spot here. And then I'll make my X, find my center. And then I'm gonna take a screw and drill, and drill straight down in the center of that X. For one, that's gonna be where the location for my hole is gonna be at and two that's gonna make it go straight into this part to where i know where my hole's gonna go so all of this could exactly could match up exactly the way it's supposed to be even though this is gonna be ten and a half and the bottom is gonna be nine it's just that's the way it's gonna work the way that could sit pretty much flush in here instead of sitting on top all right guys as you see i got it fastened down there and there i got my x's to where my center hole is going to be and i got this screw started kind of hard doing it with, one, with my left hand anyway but yeah so i'm gonna do that all the way down so i know where my hole is on that other baffle front plate so I just wanted to show y'all that, as you see, came from this point all the way to that point. 
and from that point from the white line all the way to there so let me go ahead and get this done so i can get ready to cut the holes out for it all right guys so as you can see i got it all cut out i decided not to go this route <coughs> on using chamfer bit because it'll get right here and could possibly break break off because it's too thin not enough support so instead I set my table saw to 45 degrees and I cut it 45 degree angle all the way down so now I'm about to get ready to cut the inner hole out and I messed up on one hole but you can't tell this is the very first hole I did and I didn't cut it out big enough well I thought I had to set right I didn't that's why you always supposed to go back and check but anyway you can't tell so that's a good thing about it but now you know because I pointed it out but anyway so that's gonna be the next step going and cut these inner holes out and once I do that I'll be able to set that one in there and give y'all an idea on what it's gonna look like with the beauty panel on. all right guys I got one done as you can see how it sits down in there that's how I wanted it just like that now I'm about to put a letter here to see if uh, this interferes with the letter. Hopefully not. If it does, then I gotta go a whole nother route. So, that's what happens guys. When you're doing custom stuff, sometimes things don't fit in the measurement that you want it to fit in. But uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna see what it does. I'm about to go get a letter real quick. All right guys, I have a letter here. Boy, that looks like it's gonna be close. Right there. Like I said, close. But flush with the if I put it flush right there, it fit with a sixteenth of an inch gap. <laughs> so but it fit. That's all that matters. So now all I gotta do is finish this up, clean it up, sand it down. Clean that little notch up from the cutter. That one and that one. Then on to the next step. But yeah, it fit. Look at that. All right, guys. Let me finish it up. All right, guys. Just like that. Got all the holes cut out. Sub in there. So that's how it's going to look. Except for a little bit cleaner because I'm going to sand it all down make it look good but that's what it's gonna look like guys and then i'm gonna have my other side panels on so i'm gonna cut y'all back on when i get ready to just put these side panels on to see what it looks like completely and i'm gonna show y'all all right guys so what we're gonna do here is i decided to change up the design slightly see this was the old one I'm about to get ready to lay out the new design because uh, the port, I'm gonna put the port and then I'm gonna try to do something with that emblem to make it where it sticks out some. So I'm just about to come up here. I'm gonna draw probably an inch all the way around just to see what I have to work with to lay the port out. Well. I'm gonna do three quarters on this back side because this is three quarter stick and I want it to run against it. And it's gonna come out, it's probably gonna be three inch ports, one on each end. So that's what we're about to get ready to do, guys. I'll catch y'all back on once I get this part done. All right, guys, so here's the port. I'm doing two small ports to equal to the size of a one big port. So, cause he's going with four, JL, don't mind the mess, it's my junk room. You know, don't mind it. But uh yeah, four JL tens. <clears throat> and uh I gotta get that room cleaned up whenever I get a chance to. Here's the King Range emblem. He wants to go in there. But yeah, here's the border. And then it's gonna have the border all the way around there. Uh say I wanna do something. 
so this is what I'm thinking right now. All right, so I'm thinking about making cutting out a piece, same size as this, as that profile and everything, and set this on top and have it tapered down. I don't know. I'm gonna try it out, see how it look, but that's where it goes. I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, it goes just like that. Right in that spot. And have it, like I said, have it tapered down the wood to where this fit here, but bigger at the bottom. And just be sitting right here in the middle, floating, kind of. Like I said, and then frame won't go all the way around. So I'm about to get ready to cut this port out. Then go ahead and get ready to remake that right there and see how that looks you know just trying out trial and error oh yeah i'm about to show y'all that plastic glass that one inch thick plastic glass all right guys here it is right there i got this thing going away hope this thing don't fall look how thick that is one inch thick this is three quarters three quarters one inch Three quarters, one inch. Y'all yeah, can see the difference. Solid plastic glass. So damn near bulletproof. How thick it is. I'm not saying it's bulletproof, I'm just saying almost. But uh, yeah, I told you I was gonna show it to y'all. So there it goes, guys. So let me go ahead and cut these end pieces off and I'll catch y'all back on. All right, guys. As you can see, I got it all cut out. This is a rough cut of it right now. So what I'm about to do is take my chamfer bit, go around these edges, clean it up, make it look nicer. Give it a edge look like right here, like that. So I'm about to go ahead and do that. It'd be a split second for y'all, but about five minutes from me. All right, guys. As you see, I got it all cleaned up. See these edges? All smoothed out. I still gotta hand sand some more of these spots. I like grabbed right here where I can't get the sander. But majority is done with the sander. I even rounded this off, this edge off. This edge will get rounded off. Well, it's gonna get 45 or whatever degree this is. I'll find out what that degree is, but it's gonna match this degree. All right, guys, we back at it again. So right now, I just took out these, the two braces I had here, one here and one here for the bottom. I put these corner braces in temporary because we're about to get ready to knock this bottom out because we're about to go ahead and line it with the uh, uh, vinyl that the customer wants. And y'all see, it's a crazy vinyl wrap type, but uh, yeah, it's different. So that's, ain't nothing wrong with being different. Let me zoom out for y'all so y'all get the bigger picture. Right there. Then we got the beauty panel. Go here. We ain't done with that beauty panel. That's gonna go just like that. I'm waiting on the leather to come in so I can wrap these. That's the route I decided to go. Wrap those because with that uh the wood grain vinyl that's as soon as i can find it i just had it a second ago with the wood grain vinyl yeah it don't want to bend like it's a, a car wrap vinyl wood so if i decided to wrap that wood grain this as you can see that's where the emblem gonna go and that's how it is right there and then the hardest yeah i've been working y'all see other it working but anyway the uh, most critical part is gonna be this top. Like I said, that's one inch plastic glass, one false move, and it's out of there. I had to buy a whole nother piece and go through all that all over again. But uh, yeah, so I'm about to go ahead and knock this bottom out. I'm gonna go grab the wrap and we're gonna wrap this bottom. All right, so I got it all sent down. So even though that 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 wrap right there has a sticky back on it, I'm still gonna put some extra 
adhesive to it just to make sure it don't come up at all. Which you can pick this up from like uh, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or someplace like that. All we about to do is shake it up and just coat it. We're gonna let it dry to touch. I was about to switch hands. Y'all was wondering why I put it down. There you go. Now it's coming out like it's supposed to. First it's coming out just like a stream. Put a good layer on it like that. A little tack up. And while I was doing that, we're gonna get ready to cut the vinyl for it. All right, guys. I got it on there. Had a little help from my daughter. You know, we had to stretch it out. I didn't want to mess it up. But yeah, that's it. All right, guys. I'm gonna show y'all what it look like just the way it is right now. Like I said, I ain't putting nothing back because I need the bottom off. This is what it looks like through the eyes of the box. Okay. All right, guys. As you see, I got my template right here. So yeah, close is a degree. So now I went through one, two, maybe about three pieces before I finally got it right. But this is it right here. So now I could take the plastic glass and cut it down to that. Now I can set my table saw up for it and it'll be, you know, come out just like this. So that's what we're about to get ready to do. Boy, I'm nervous because the saw could mess up and uh, it's one of them things, guys. It's one of those things. But yeah, we about to go ahead and get done. All right, guys, the nerve wracking part is done. I got this thing cut out finally you know I could have I know y'all probably gonna say like you could have just cut it a little bit at a time a little bit at a time but my look if I would have cut it like half inch one time then half inch another time to finish cutting it through my look something would have went wrong so I'd rather cut slow one cut all the way through and be done with it and that's what I did you know came out pretty good pretty good because i got it cut well i said cut but i mean i took those corner pieces off put them there and i put one across the middle right, so i just laid this down in there so it's all good this back piece is bowed out some and so once i undo this piece here i'll be able to pull it in so it'll fit tight but it'll fit like that side over there but everything else is pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pull this off honestly once i when i pull this off once i get this screwed off completely i'll probably pull the other side off i got something i could put over top of it protect it from getting scratched up but just temporarily do it and put the bottom in there so we can see what it looks like because uh i'm pretty i'm kind of excited about it so that's what we've probably got to do guys Matter of fact, that's what we are going to do because I'm stupid excited about it. All right, let me get that done. As you can see, I did pull first layer off. It's actually on the ground with all this stuff too. I got pick up. But uh, I decided to go ahead and put two blocks there. Just nail it to the sides. Just to hold the place of glass up because I want to turn it upright to make sure that is flush here and sitting the way I wanted to sit and that way I ain't got to worry about this falling out so I just want to show y'all that little tip right there <clears throat> get it all screwed off as you can see I 
look at it on top of the bottom. Like, y'all won't even see, know these screws are here once I'm done. Beauty panel I'm gonna cover all that up. Won't even know it's there. All right, guys, here's the idea of what it's gonna look like. As you can see, let me zoom them out. There. As you can see, it covers up all the edge and everything, make it look nice and clean. It's gonna, like I said, it's gonna overhang and cover that up. Show you. There go a box of nails. But yeah, it's gonna go something like that, guys. You know, I just gotta straighten it up and all that other good stuff, but. Excuse background. But yeah, it's coming along. Wanted to give y'all an idea what it's going to look like. All right, guys, I got one wrapped. As you can see, first time, that's what it looks like. Don't know if I did it right, don't know if I did it wrong. It looks good though, it ain't coming off. So, as you see, I got this one. Let me zoom out. I got this one already. All I gotta do is flip it over and get ready to put the vinyl on it. Shouldn't be too difficult. That should be easier because it has less curvature in it like that. But uh, I couldn't find my heat gun. Heat gun would have been helped. I could stretch it easier and made it wrap around a little bit better. But that's it. I'm about to go ahead and flip it over and then I'll cut you back on. All right guys, so I got it all cut out. So what I found out on that first piece is in the center, you don't wanna, you don't wanna pull this tight. You wanna be able to have some give. That way you could wrap it easier. So what I'm gonna do is pull this up Then pull it halfway, and then fold it back, press it down, like that. See how it's tucked down in there, it's not sitting on top no more, like that. That's what. We want to do and do the side this side the same way. Yeah, just like that. Trying to get the wrinkles out. See the wrinkle there? Try to get that out. There. All right. So now I am going to. All I'm gonna do is make a. Cause start about right here. Make a V. There. Same thing for here on this side, and then straight down the middle. So it gives me extra to fold over, pull tight, and try to give it a nice clean look that we're going for. You can go ahead and smooth the top out. Like that. So. Let me go ahead and get that done. I'll cut you back on. All right. I got it all tight and pulled. Show you this corner. So yeah, I'll start of it. So, better go ahead and cut this extra off. And wipe it down. And that's gonna be it for this. One piece down. Still got two more pieces of wrap. We still got the other side like that. 
to wrap and the front beauty panel so yeah it's gonna be fun tomorrow all right guys catch you on the morning all right guys i got the back side done as you can see all kind of crazy stuff on there all kind of crazy stuff i ain't pointing out stuff but it got some pretty crazy stuff in this thing angry birds all this kind of stuff so like i said it's slightly different from the bottom but it's all gonna play off each other so you ain't really gonna be able to tell so now we're about to get ready to do this piece on the inside and that i almost thought i wasn't gonna have enough to do the whole entire inside but it looked like i will so that's a good thing and even wrap the outside of the port so when you look in you can still see that so he wants the inside of the port painted black and i'm gonna wrap the outside in this stuff here so yeah it's gonna be cool just want to show y'all what it looks like right now all right guys as you see it is complete <laughs> not worried about the port like i said he wanted to paint black on the inside so the port gonna be covering all this up actually the port i'm gonna make the port a little bit bigger than what this is now just slightly bigger and then take my flush trim bit and just come and clean all this up so do that Oh, sorry. Top. Well, this is one side. This is the other side. Sushi. Then you get all of that. So yeah, guys, it's coming on good. All right, guys. As you can see, I got it kind of put together. I got the lights all ran. You can see the controller box there. Um. What else did I do? The bottom is not secure yet, because I still ain't done on the inside. I still gotta make the ports. As you can see, no port there, no port there. I just wanted to put it together, get a look of how it's going, look how it's coming along. Goes like that, like that. Get a different angle, view of it. Like he's looking down into it. Yeah, so I was looking good. Now, y'all let me know. Can y'all tell that those are two different? That all of it don't go together? Can you tell? Yeah, I pulled the plastic off, blue plastic off, and everything just so I could show y'all and so I could see. So. It's a lot going on. I like it though. All right guys, so I'm about to go ahead and build the port so I can get ready to put the bottom on and everything. So I'll catch y'all back on once I get the port made. All right guys, it's kind of hard to tell, but you can tell I've got the ports in. They're not secured. They're just in there right now for looks because I'm just anxious to see how it's gonna look. And it looks crazy. Really, really crazy. Like, I even wrapped the edges. Bring y'all inside the box. See, so, yeah, I did the edges and everything. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. Tell me what y'all think about it. So, all I'm about to do now pull them out, get some glue on. Bottom edge, the side edge, and that edge there. Set it there and secure it. And then the ports will be done, the whole inside will be done. And then I can fasten that bottom on. And we'll be good to go with that part. And then, like I said, then I can start doing the vinyl on the outside. So, yeah, guys, I'm loving this. All right, guys, 
Look, I started, I forgot to pull the camera out, but as y'all can see right now, I got the emblem on, I got that side beauty panel put on. I'm putting this vinyl on right now. So I just gotta cut these holes out. These few little wrinkles, you're not gonna see them at all right there. So, because the other beauty panel gonna cover all this up, so it's gonna cover this up. So you won't really see none of this at all. The only purpose of this is for this little bottom part right here where uh, King Wrench is gonna be at. I marked it there and right there so I know where to, stop, where to start, where to stop for the King Ranch. But yeah, we're getting this thing knocked out. This thing will be done in a couple more days. All right, guys, I got the front panel on. As you see, well, this top not done yet. I ain't did that yet, but got the front panel on. So nice and secure. It ain't coming off, anything like that. But it's coming along good now. You know, I got some touches up to do, touching up to do around the bottom. Like that little, that little piece there, trim that off, uh, you know, so on and so forth. But the final product is going to be what I'm really looking forward to seeing. Once I get all this cleaned up, wiped down, and shined up, and <clears throat> lights going, now you can see the King Ranch. No problem. But yeah. So I gotta find a drill bit so I can drill all the way through the glass into here and do that all the way around where I can. So, but yeah. All right, guys. So now we're about to put the front beauty panel on, which this one, which I already got started. You know, I got a bad thing of starting when I'm focused on something. I just, I just go with it. But uh, yeah. So this is where we at now. I got a screw here, screw here broke. I gotta get that screw out. But uh, see the screws. So how I'm doing this is, you see I'm countersinking. I don't know if you can see that, there you go. I'm countersinking the screws so they'll sit flat. So I'm using this drill bit and this unit bit. Everybody call them something different. Some people call it a stepper bit, but I call it a unit bit. And it's pretty much any size you need, only one bit. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going around the edges, hitting where I can. The ports is kind of in the way to get to this part here, but I'm putting enough here and here to hold that so it don't vibrate at all. It's gonna be the same thing for this side too, right there. But other than that, that's it. All right, guys, I got it pretty much all done. As you can see, light's gone. Looking good. King wrench. I still got to put king wrench across the bottom here. I haven't done that yet. Cleaned it up all on the inside, wiped it down. I got to put this transmitter up and take that one down because something was wrong with it. It just stayed stuck on blue. So, I got this other one, swapped it out, it's working. So, it'll change the music, all the other stuff too, but I didn't do it. Can't play no music. You got purple, that's supposed to be purple. Whatever. Anyway, all different kind of functions on it. Three, jump seven, seven different colors, fade three. All right, I'm about to cut the lights off real quick. No, that's the fan. I'm gonna shut this door. And get as dark in here as possible. All right, guys, so y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Looks good. I think it came out pretty good. Yep. Yeah.